What's more impressive, the fact Mr. and Mrs. Glasgow are both practicing orthopedic surgeons in Illinois, or that the Glasgows have not one, not two, but three sons playing in the NFL, or that the three Glasgow sons reached the NFL even though they left an all-Catholic boys high school in the Chicagoland area without a scholarship and walked on to the University of Michigan. Um, I was a late bloomer, man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, uh, we had, well, at least for me, I, uh, I was like six foot six, like 315 going into college, but you know, it was not, not particularly good weight. And uh, it was something that I worked at. Understand the Glasgow boys didn't reach the NFL because of demanding, pushy parents. We actually tried to keep the kids away from football, um, you know, because of my wife's concern about violence and, and things of that nature. And Karate lessons, though, convinced Graham Glasgow's parents that football was a good way for the boys to channel their physical aggression. Uh, they didn't really encourage sports too much like we I didn't really play football growing up it was a lot of like it was mainly a hodgepodge of sports like we played a lot of basketball soccer roller hockey like basically anything except football I feel like growing up in the Glasgow house meant family dinners late family dinners a lot of times we'd be there waiting for him to get home and it'd be like 8 30 9 o'clock at night before him or my mom would get home but He's always gone out there and him and my mom really have done a fantastic job providing for us and showing us what, what hard work can do and what, uh, what, a good work, what a good work ethic gets you. The message and theme Steve and Michelle delivered while raising their kids were not about football, but they applied. Was it what we really taught them was that the only things that they control are that you can work harder, you can work smarter, and you can work longer. And that things are always unfair, they're, they're never gonna be fair, and that you have to work your way around that and figure it out. That coaches aren't always gonna think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, or the next wonder kid, and that you have to figure that out and, and make that work for you. Graham just got a $44 million contract with the Broncos. Ryan is in his fourth season as a defensive tackle for the Bengals. Jordan was just drafted as an outside linebacker by the Colts. There was a moment at Michigan five years ago when all three ran out of the same tunnel at the big house. Just immensely proud of their ability to do this the hard way. And being a preferred walk-on in Michigan is, is not an easy road. All three of us were there. That was never something I had been able to do, uh, considering Jordan was always, he's four years younger than me. He's four years behind me in school. So uh, with him being a redshirt freshman that year, that was, it was really, really awesome. I think my parents, uh, that'll be something that my parents really treasure. Dad said much of the credit goes to the oldest brother. The Broncos, it seems, are getting a player who has been a leader since the crib. You know, Graham is the guy who set the pace and set the standard. And Graham is the person who convinced Ryan that Michigan was the place that he should be. When I'm not even sure Graham knew whether he belonged there yet. It's difficult for all of them, but being the first, I think, is a, is a bit harder. You're the guy who has to blaze the trail. For this Father's Day weekend, Graham Glasgow was asked what his dad means to him. My dad has always been my biggest supporter and he's somebody who believed in me before I believed in myself. And, you know, I really, it's really hard for me to even put into words how much he means to me, but I mean, he's, he's, he's been everything for me and I love him. He's the, he's the best dad that I could have ever asked for. Well, gentlemen, what uh, what a lovely Father's Day gift you've just presented to me. Happy Father's Day, Broncos country.